Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. So, um, I went to Michael's to just pick up a couple of things. It's a quick little haul here. I don't really have much to show you. So, at Michael's, I picked up, I needed um, a new blade for my paper cutter. So I've already put it in and that's the spare one. We'll put it over here so I don't lose it. Then I saw these. They had a bunch of these. They're $1.98, $2, say. Um, and there's three, three little booklets in it. And these are the patterns on the back. So it says, uh, let's go on an adventure. And they're all black and gray and white. This is that pattern. This one here is black and gold. Black and gold, gold and gray, and black and gray and gold here. And it says, you are capable of amazing things. Oh my God, I couldn't read that. And then this one, which I think is similar to this one in a way. Um, so this one here has the gold. I don't know if you can see it. But here are the three. I should have held them up closer. So this is the front cover. This one says, oh my God, I have no idea. Let's find out. Let's open them up because it's annoying me. It's annoying me that I can't, and I have my reading glasses on. But for some reason, they, it was just a little bit too small or bright or blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, let's have a look at these three little notebooks. Okay, and they have... grouped them together well. This is a good idea group things together oh enjoy today so here we go enjoy today gold and black on there and this one says simplify which is what I thought it said Ugh. anyway they're just little um, blank pages here oh these is this is a um, a little journal type cool and this one is it's got little dot lines for drawing and so on cool anyway i thought these would make cute little miniature journals and i just loved the covers of them simplify enjoy today could be the cover i don't know i don't know i don't know but anyway so i bought those three now, yesterday, I was, yesterday, the other day, when I was talking about my, um, I call it a love book now, my um, treasure box, treasure book, treasure book, how's that? Anyway, um, a couple of things I did differently with this, um, I have to fix them, but what I decided to do was put Velcro on either side, but I think up and down is better, which is what I did with this one here. It seems to work better top and bottom. Anyway, I was talking about how the, the Craft Smart paper cracks when I was, and you know, I didn't even use a bone folder. All I used was my hands to gently fold the paper and it was cracking so I was really ticked off so I went to Michael's and you can buy these sheets 99 cents for a sheet and what I did was seal them and these are very they're thin mind you but that's okay at least they're not going to crack and I wanted to try these and these are all recollection papers if I'm not mistaken so I'm thinking Recollections probably got a better, I mean, the, these are thinner. I would like to have had, um, you know, I would have liked to have had thicker paper. Um, 
I think I just bought one of those. And two of those. Anyway, so I'm going to be testing that. And then I have a big, big crate behind me of paper. And I'm going to do some testing on some of the books that I've bought. And I'm going to be a little bit more careful next time um, with the thickness. Because if the paper is almost, if it's too thick and it's like cardboard, it's not, it's great for um, using the DSP to cut it out and put it on to something that is stronger. But if you're going to be making, now this would be too thin for a box, but um, I do want to try a couple of things with it. So that's why I bought that. That is why I bought that. Let me put that. So then after watching Stacy's stash, and I should not watch her because I want to buy everything she buys. But that's okay, Stacy. I love it. I don't know if she watches my channel or not. Anyway. Um, so she had mentioned um, a magazine uh, that comes from the UK, and I did see one many years ago, um, but they didn't have too many of them, and I noticed, anyway, so she said she went to Chapters, so I went to Chapters with the intention of buying one of the um, craft uh magazines that they have that they put out from the UK and I ended up buying three now um, and I'll tell you the prices in a minute um, this one was $17.99 this is crafts beautiful it comes in a, a nice little plastic bag which keeps everything nice and in this one it has 50 of these absolutely gorgeous outdoor uh, forest themed and it's even got a die cut for a bird which is great they've got birds here and so on the only thing is is I don't have a block big enough for to you know put this one on and then these big long ones here but they've got leaves and they've got, it's, oh, they've got a swing you can put on the tree, a birdhouse. I haven't even opened it. So let's open her up. I mean, they had Christmas ones. They had a couple of other things that I could have picked up. I saw the one that she had picked up, um, which was a uh, winter scene. Oh, look at this. See? I don't know if you can see that as well. Maybe you can here, but they've got, oh, it's wonderful. The birds, the leaves, a little squirrel. Oh, I'm going to have such fun with this. Okay, so, and I'm going to be um, putting this in um, a folder but you know what I might keep this paper and keep it in there anyway and then when you look at the book the book has so many great tips great ideas um, and this is an example here of the forest stamp set and it shows you what you can do with it um, and there's some more on this page here it shows you winter scenes I hope I can show you that properly. You can make cards, happy birthday cards. Here's some autumn ones, some thanks. Um, so it really, and here's some more here, which are really sweet. Warm wishes, you know, using different colored inks to make it. So anyway, um, and it has tons. Oh, here's some more stamps that you can get some ideas you know I'm not going to go through it all but um, what a lovely investment for me to help motivate me back to doing stuff I've been watching things on YouTube and to be honest with you I have been getting kind of the blahs and the reason I've been getting the blahs is because everything seems to be the same. There's 
you know, I want, I want something new. Now, yes, cards can be different. I haven't done a lot of cards lately and things like that, but I was looking for some new inspiration, some new ideas, and this was a wonderful find. Now, this was $17.99. Now, just for these stamps alone, I'd be paying a lot more than $17.99. And I love the fact that it comes in the bag. So the prices are, and this was November's issue. This is November 2019. U.S. is $16.99 and the U.K. is $6.99. And this is a great price, $17.99 for that book. I wonder if I had the bill inside here. I could have put it in my purse. Yeah, I should always keep it in the bag. Anyway, so that was the first one um, I saw. I couldn't resist. And I said for $17, I'd be paying that just for, I'd be paying more than that for the stamps. And then I saw this one um, and I was reading up on some of the things. Whoops, here we go. Sorry, guys. Um, this one's called a uh, paper craft creative ideas for everyday card makers paper craft inspirations this one had two three die cuts um, now they're not very thick but that's okay um, and I've been looking for these kind of die cuts to be able to um, open up or use them for different things, not necessarily for tags, but to make cutouts on my cards so that I can insert something behind it. Um, the same thing with like shakers and so on. So there's one, two, three die cuts that come with this. And I believe, I believe, oh, I know the prices around here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we are. Um, so it's $16.99 in Canada, $14.99 in the U.S. And I don't know what it is in the U.K. But anyway, and then we get this lovely, and I like the fact that it's in plastic so it protects the books. And this has amazing ideas. I mean, I know YouTube has a lot of ideas, but... Let's just look at some of these crazy little fun pop-up ideas. Uh, garden rosettes talks about, oh my gosh, cards for all occasions. I, it's even got your free templates if you want to use those. Um, talks about other issues you know, talks about different things that you can do. And I love this idea here where, you know, you put the sentiment there, um, it says cheat day and you pull it out and there's a little squirrel at the end, but you can make any kind of slider card, but it just gives you some cute ideas and step-by-step -step ideas on how to make things fun and beautiful and Anyway, I was pretty excited and it's even got papers in here that you can use. You can actually use this stationery for different things. Like, I mean, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just really, really pleased. I should be mad at her, but Stacy, I'm really pleased. I don't think she watches my channel, but if she does, I'm angry with you, but I'm pleased at the same time <laughs> because now I'm going to want to go and get more issues as they come available. I wish I could get them, um, but I may not always want each and every issue. Now this one was die cutting essentials and it comes with, those were, um, this was paper craft and, and craft, craft beauty, craft beautiful. This one is paper craft uh, inspirations. And this one is a die cut essentials. 
all kinds of great um, tips, ideas. You know, sometimes you just want to sit down and not be at the computer and just look at different things and get some, just get some different inspiration. And these people have just got some wonderful, wonderful in inspiration for most of us. And it came with this die cut and you can use it to make bows different kinds of bows you can use it to make flowers sorry if there's a glare there um, you can make it flowers it's even got center like snowflake there it's got a bow a flower and kind of a leaf there that you can use you know here it's saying you know create the snowflake and then it sort of shows you on the back this is basically what you can um, cut out from that isn't that absolutely amazing so these come apart um, these part these three these four pieces actually come out so that um, it's it's open here so anyway I'm anxious to see that and the ideas just brilliant just brilliant little ideas thoughts things that you know just sometimes you want to just sit down and kind of flip through look for a little bit of inspiration look for a little bit of something different something maybe you've seen it before but maybe um this is a really cool idea here where you can die cut um not all of it and not take it all apart i just thought that was kind of cool anyway kind of a haul and kind of a review kind of a i'm very excited to try all of these and i hope to do that on camera so i've got the die cuts to try i've got card making to make um and i'm really I'm really mad at Stacy because I went, there was about four, of, no, there was more than four. There was maybe, um, I picked three. And I think of the three, the three that I picked out, um, I think there was still, there was one for Christmas. There was the um, uh, woodland or animal one that, that Stacy picked up. And I think there was one other one. Um, I think it had, oh, it had, um, dement, it had deer and different things, but they were done in sort of a geometric design. So I didn't pick up those two, but I picked up these three. Um, I probably wouldn't be picking up too many of the die cut essentials unless the die cut is like to die for, then I probably would. But even so, getting the magazine and the little extra is just amazing. So now that I know that they're available at my local um, oh, chapters, um, I'm going to be able to go and pick those up. Now, I haven't been able to find them before, but then I haven't looked for a couple of years. When I first started, I went looking for them, and there was only one. Um, but not like they are today. So I'm pretty pleased. So with all my goodies that I got today, I am going to have a little bit of fun and uh, hopefully take you along with me. All right, guys, I have babbled on so long with this. It was only supposed to be a haul, but instead I'm showing you these wonderful magazines that I can sit down in bed at night and flip through the magazine and maybe check off or circle things that I want to try. I'm really, really excited about it. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.